The Man Who Escaped Episode 23 Masters has told Coke that Hugo had planned what had happened to Coke in Epping Forest. He thought Coke would be killed in the crash and that the police would think he was the spy when they found the documents in his car. Coke wants Masters to take him to Hugo. Masters told Coke that Hugo owned a large garage in the north of London. Cars that had been damaged were taken there to be repaired. It was also where the secret documents Hugo sold were kept before they were microfilmed and sent abroad. They got into Master's white Jaguar and drove there. Coke sat in front with Master's. Kate sat behind. It was almost evening when they got to the garage. It was at the end of a street and was surrounded by shops and small houses. They parked at the end of the street. People were beginning to close their shops and go home. The garage stayed open until six. Coke sat and watched the lights go off. When the last one had been turned off and the garage was completely dark, Coke turned to Masters again. Now tell me exactly where the documents are kept before they're sent off, he said. At first, Masters didn't answer. He had become a little braver again. Coke pressed the pistol into his stomach. Because of you, I've been kept in prison for four years. Because of you, my life has been ruined. I'll kill you here and now if you don't answer. Masters looked at the pistol and went pale. They're kept in Hugo's office, in an ordinary file in his desk, he answered. And the microfilms? Coke demanded. They're kept there too. Do you know if any documents have been sent off recently? Some were sent last week. I know. I sent them myself, Masters said. And will there be any there now, waiting to be sent off? Again, Masters hesitated. Coke pressed the pistol even harder into his stomach. I don't know. There might be. Hugo told me he was going to give me some soon, he said. Coke gave Kate the pistol. She was still sitting behind Masters. Keep him here until I get back, he said. But what are you going to do? She asked. Break into that garage if I can. Perhaps I can find proof that Hugo sells these things. If I do, I'll phone the police. But what if you don't? What if you're seen and caught before you can find anything at all? Kate asked. But Coke had already started walking towards the dark garage. In the dark winter evening, it looked very much like a prison. (laughs) 